Hello and welcome to the Ken Gordon Show today's best country mix. And joining me right here today is Serena Haggerty. Serena, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you today? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. So kind of start by telling a, a little bit about yourself. Get started. Yeah, of course. I'm an artist. I'm based right now in London, Ontario, and I'm a singer-songwriter. So recently I've just been working um, virtually, of course, um, writing songs with writers all, uh, all around the world. So it's pretty nice, easy, and just getting better every song. Um, and then it's nice, live music is back. So I've been performing a lot. And right now I'm working on my third album. So that's kind of myself. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So um, what do you most enjoy about music? Um, I love like sharing music. I, I Like whether it's my music sharing with people or when my friends have a new song, they're like, check this out. like. I just love listening to music in general and hearing hearing new music. Yeah, like things that you either love because of the genre or that you can relate to. And, and also performances, of course, um, going to shows or being the one having the show is awesome too, so. Awesome. So um, if you could do a duet or a collaboration with any singer, Serena, who would you choose and why? Ed Sheeran, <laughs> right away. <laughs> I was thinking Ed Sheeran or Adele. Um, Ed Sheeran, I'd love to write with him one day and just, of course, period, like amazing dude. So I would do Ed Sheeran. That is yeah. really good. Yep, I agree. That would be a good choice. Yeah, one day. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So kind of talk a little bit about any uh, hobbies or interests that you may have outside of music. What do you like doing outside of music? <laughs> um, not a lot, honestly, right now. It's just, it's crazy. It's all music mm -hmm. every hour. Um, I love going outside for walks. Um, I'm loving the fact that it's finally summer and there's no mm -hmm. snow outside. And I spend a long, lot of time um, watching Netflix and with my dogs. So literally <laughs> outside, Netflix, dogs, and music. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's my life. Very cool. Do you have any new singles or any upcoming projects you want to talk about, Serena? Yeah, I about a month ago, I released a single called Waste of Time. And that was a lot of fun to do. Um, I worked on it with a producer, Dylan Emmett, who's currently in New York. So it was all virtual. And then uh, I brought in another producer. So it was a 50-50 production. And it was so cool to get the two perspectives of, you know, that awesome three-minute song. So Nick Fetchison, he's a producer and engineer in London. Um, so yeah, I released that on April 20th and it's out everywhere. Wonderful. That's awesome. So um, I know you say you've been crazy, but kind of walk me through like a day to day that looks for you, Serena. Yeah, right now, um, you know, like in the past, I'm glad it's different now. I'm glad I can focus on writing, but in the mm -hmm. past, it definitely wasn't like this. But a normal day right now is I wake up, I go back to bed because I'm like, oh, like I'll just wake up before the right. And I get up, maybe like, 10 um so it's way different from you know everyone else going to work at like eight wake up at 10 eat some cereal um and then I have a write usually around like 11 a.m and then I try and <laughs> reply to emails and do some demos and you know do stuff that I'm doing on my on my own or with other people like writing and just recording vocals um, and then I, what else do I do? <laughs> um, I eat and then I have my dogs come home and I hang out with them. And then I have another right at night. So honestly, that's what my life is about. And then every weekend recently, I've been booking gigs. So it's awesome to be, uh, whether it's a corporate event, restaurant or on stage. I have a lot of shows coming up. Yeah. That is awesome. And you're in Canada, right? 
Yeah, I'm in London, Ontario. Yeah, where where are, are you, you located? I'm in the uh, U.S. I'm in Massachusetts. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah I'm like two hours out of Toronto. Oh, uh, okay, awesome. How do you like it in Canada? It's awesome. Um, now that it's summer, you know the weather. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit crazy, you know, it snows. Yeah, the mm. weather's just always yeah. weird. It snows and then it's raining and then it's summer and then the next morning it's like snowing again. So other than the crazy mm -hmm. weather, um, it is awesome and lots of good music too. Awesome, yeah, that's pretty much the same thing here. You know, one day it could be like super freezing, one day it could be super hot. When it, It's just, the weather is like really interesting, I gotta say. Yeah. Is there, um, what was I going to say? Oh, have you ever been to Canada? I have not, but I would love to go someday. Yeah, you should. Out mm -hmm. West is beautiful with the mountains and everything. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Very, very cool. So um, if someone was to write a song about you or something that's kind of occurred in your life, what do you think that they would write about? um that's a really good question um I'm gonna keep that in mind no one's ever asked that um that's a cool question I think um that's a really hard question actually um I think <laughs> I don't know I personally love writing songs just about boys so I feel like someone wrote a song about me it would say how like how I just get so many ideas from boys. So it was something like saying like, oh, there's so many boys, you know, so many mm -hmm. songs to write. Or I think just like a nice summer song, like saying, yeah, I'm ready to, uh, I don't know, to travel and live the dream. So either boys or life. Yeah. That would be definitely interesting. That's actually like, you know, different than what I've heard. Yeah, what are like common answers? Common? I don't know if you would say common there, but um, I've gotten a variety of different things. Like, I don't even know if I would common. Like, I've gotten things from, um, oh my God, I don't, I don't even, I, you know, I've gotten things from like, you know, life in general to, you know, mental health to, there's so many different things I've gotten. I'd have to go back and figure it out what everybody said, but mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, and it's not common to not hear that that's a question, you know, that's a question that I decided to kind of like include recently. And it's been, you know, a really good question I've asked people. So. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's very cool. So where do you see yourself in the next five to 10 years? Do you have a goal set for yourself? Yeah, I, I want to be like performing and traveling more often. Of course, writing for myself and for other acts. But I love performing with the band too. Uh, I play a lot of shows with my band members um, here in London. And yeah, just being on tour would be really fun. Yeah, very that would be really fun, especially, have you ever been to the U.S.? I didn't even think about asking you that question. Yeah, I was recently in Nashville, actually, about, um, it's already May, about, like, two months ago. Oh. And I was there, like, writing songs and everything, and then, um, yeah, I think, like, the, you know, all the common places, L.A., New York, where else? <laughs> Florida, mm -hmm. um, New York is really cool, so. And then Detroit, of course, because it's right down the street. Detroit, do you say Detroit or Detroit? I think it's Detroit in Michigan, yep. Okay, true, yeah. And do you yeah. say, how do you say Toronto? Toronto. <laughs> Toronto? Some people, like, yeah. I meet some people and they're like, oh yeah, oh, you're really? from Toronto, I'm like, I'm from Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. Everyone has their own way of pronouncing things. Like I'll butcher a name and then I'll get a name that I didn't think I was going to get correctly correct on my first try. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a lot of work. <laughs> oh, it is, you know, 
anything you do like in this industry is a lot of work let me tell you yeah Mm -hmm. yeah I agree so um do you have a message for those who might have been following you for a while any of your fans or anyone watching or listening to this that's a good question too um I think I'd say now that the pandemic is ending, make sure you go out to as much shows as you, mm-hmm. as you want, as you can. Live music is just awesome. And make sure you wear earplugs if it's very loud. <laughs> and mm-hmm. I would say go to shows, listen to new local music and everything. And just um, as everyone always does, just continue mm-hmm. to appreciate um, music. That's what I would say. Awesome. And where can people find you on social media if they want to uh, give you a follow, Serena? TikTok. I'm trying to get more followers, um, as well as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I need to tweet more often. (laughs) And then my music is on Apple Music, Spotify, everywhere. Awesome. And is there anything that I forgot to mention that you'd like to mention? Not that I can think of. No, I think we got everything. I'll uh, I'll bug you if I think of anything else we can add next time. <laughs> awesome, sounds good. And again, I'd like to thank Serena Haggerty for coming on the King Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. We appreciate your time so much. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate it too. See you next time.